Okay, so this brings us on to past paper questions now. So this one here has got a pentagon drawn in a circle and then we add something to design to make this new one below it. So just starting with the fact of a pentagon in a circle, a full turn in the middle makes 180, so uh, sorry, 360. So this angle here is 360. If you split that into five, you get 72. So the angle at the centre of your triangles are all 72. And that allows us to get the angle directly below this, which is 100. And eight, knowing that this is a straight line. Now, just looking at your diagram, this is an some isosceles triangles going on. We've got a, a radius here O to F and a radius here O to B. So we've got an isosceles triangle. We are after angle um, OBF. In fact, it's actually OFB we're after, but it's the exact same angle because it's isosceles. So you do 180 take away 108. Sorry, 180 take away 108, which is 72. We've already kind of done that. And then you split the 72 into 2, and that gives us 36. So this angle here is 36 and 36. Okay, so I've just moved my diagram up a little bit so we can see the actual question. It was after angle OFB. Now, in exam, if I leave it like this, I am not going to get full marks. My working um, isn't necessarily clear where I'm referring to, but all my, all my information is in my diagram, and that's enough to get me full credit. But to get the final mark, it's always good to say the angle OFB equals 36 degrees, so that we're 100% sure you knew what angle you were actually getting. Here is another one. It's not necessarily to do with a circle, but it is, uh, it is still to do with angles and triangles. So let's enlarge this a wee bit. We are after the shaded angle in this one. So again, we have a, a shape. It's not quite. A, it's not a circular shape. It's a ten-sided shape. So we're going to get the internal angles first by doing three hundred and sixty divided by ten, which is thirty-six. So these ones in here are thirty-six, and I'm only going to fill it in for a couple. Again, these are all isosceles. These diagonals are all the exact same length. So 180 take away 36 is 144. Half of 144 is 72. So that makes these angles here 72. And again, I'm not going to fill them all in because I don't need to fill them all in. That gives us enough information to now get this angle. This is on a straight line, so you've got 72 and 72 is 144. That makes this missing angle in here 36. Then all we have to do is 36 plus 17 is 53. So these two angles combined make 53. So the missing angle, the shaded one, is 180 take away 53, which is 127. And I'm going to put it on my diagram. And at the side, I'm going to say that my final answer, um, angle KJ, I'm assuming that letter that's just gone off the screen was an L, and I'm going to say that it is 127 degrees. And I'm going to circle it, underline it, whatever it is, it makes it clear that that's the final answer. Okay, next one. So I've taken out a lot of the wording just to make the diagram slightly big enough. It tells you in the question um, that there is a tangent. It asks you to find the size of angle CAB and it's also shaded. So I'm just going to enlarge this so we can see what we're doing. So now we're on to actual exam past paper questions. You look for three things. You look for radius and tangent, making right angles. You look for radiuses that make isosceles triangles and you look for that a triangle then a semicircle. So what I've got going on here is let's look for radiuses first of all. So there's one, there's one, there's another one. So we've got three isos two isosceles triangles. The triangle C to D to B is within a semicircle. So you've got a right angle going on here that I'm going to shade in with blue. If I change my pen colour a second and show you, when I look for the radius meeting the tangent, OB is your radius. Here is your radius, here is your tangent, so there's another 90, and there's another 90 on that side there as well. So there's a lot of 90s going on in here. Now, it wants the shaded angle, but I'm going to fill in absolutely every angle that's going, purely because you don't need two, but there is more than one way to work your way around to get the shaded angle. First starting point, though, is to do 90 take away 58 to get this one in here. 90 take away 58 means that's 32. Um, using the blue right angle triangle, then that's also 58. 
Then I'm going to fill in uh, angles I can do using symmetry. So isosceles triangle lets me get that that's 32. The other isosceles triangle lets me get that that's 58. 32 plus 32 is 64. 180 take away 64 is 116. So this one here is 116. This one is 64. I actually have enough information now to go get my shaded angle. If I just focus on this big right angle triangle here, so this was O and this was B and this is the one I'm after. I know that's 90. I know that's 64. So 180 take away 154 will give me my shaded angle, which is 26. Okay, so my shaded angle is 26 degrees. However, so what was that? That was angle CAB. So that's my conclusion. But I'm going to keep going and filling in all my other angles. Using the fact that I've got this red 90 down here, that's also 32. This one, the opposite side of the 115, is 122. You could then use 122 and 32, making 154 to also get you the angle of 26. There are so many ways to go. But I think the way I did it was maybe the most logical. So you don't need to necessarily fill in absolutely every angle going. Okay. Let's look at another one. Oops. Okay, so this one's got a lot in the question as well. It's told you about tangency. It's told you what some angles are. And it's asking for angle BDF. So I'm going to enlarge it. And we're looking for BDF. So B to D to F is this whole angle up here. That's what we're after. So as usual, let's find some radiuses. Radius. Radius, radius. Some right angles going on. There's one here. There's a triangle inside a semicircle. Here is another triangle inside a semicircle. And last but not least, we have O to B is a radius. So here is your radius. Here is your tangent. So we've got some right angles going on in there that I'm going to do with a separate colour as well. Okay. So lots of 90s going on. Um, right. So first angle I'm going to get is this one up here, one side of the one I'm after. Using the 64 and the 90, 90 plus 64 is 154. 180 take away 154 is 26. So this bit up here is 26. Then we're going to go look at the other side of that triangle. We're going to look at the, um, down to use the 77. 77 plus this wee skinny one here, make 90 degrees. So that one must be 13. Using isosceles triangles, that one up there is also 13. So I actually have, now have enough to get angle BDF. So bang, angle BDF is 13 plus 26, which is 39 degrees. There's no need to fill in all these missing angles, but we may as well since we're here. 9 to take away 13 makes this one in here 77. That's also 77 using the fact they are it is isosceles. That gives me 154, making this one in here 26. And that one there, 154. We didn't need all them though, but there's no harm in putting them in. Okay, this one here um, has two triangles going on. Oh, it's actually got a few more triangles in that if you look closely. It's after angle BAC, so I'm going to just stretch this out a bit so I can write. So B to A to C, B is cut off, that's angle B up here. B to A to C is this one here that we're after. So there's no radiuses, there's no tangents, but we do have these two lovely circles within a semicircle. So that's 90 and that's 90. Now, I actually don't have to do much working to get this one. If I just focus on, I'm just going to re-sketch it out here, the, angle, the triangle A to B to D. If this is 46 and this is 90, this means that angle A down here is 44. So this full angle here that I'm just shading in for you is 44. And that bit's 25. So the missing angle I'm after is literally 44 take away 25, which is 19. So the missing angle we're after is 19. So as always, make sure I can include my, my, my question. So I'm just going to write down here the angle BAC. So that should be an angle sign. Angle BAC equals 19 degrees. Let's cut the next one. Okay, another one. I've cut off part of the diagram just to fit this one on the screen. We're told about a tangent. We are looking for OPD. 
T. So the one that is not shaded in. The shaded in one is telling you that that is 28. We are after this one, O to P to T. So again, let me enlarge this. Okay. So um, zero to, uh, sorry, O to Q is a radius. O to T is also a radius. Um, we know that this is 28. Here is a radius meeting a tangent. Sorry, I'm on the wrong pen. Radius meeting a tangent is 90. So 90 take away 28 makes this one here 62. That's also 62 using symmetry. Now we have two options. I can get the other side of the 62 or I can go get the one at the top probably. I'm going to go get the one at the top because I think that will be what most people will do. 62 doubled is 124. 180 take away 24 is um, 56. So we've got 56 at the top. Now, using just the 56 and the 90, I've got enough information to get the angle at P now. That will be 180 take away 146. That's me combining the 90 and the 56. So that makes my missing angle 34. So just somewhere at the side, I'm going to write the angle um, QPT equals 34 degrees. Okay, now I could have also, I said I could have gone and got the one other side of the 62, that would have been 118, and we could have used 118 and the 28 and also got the 34 from there as well. Okay, a couple more questions still to go. Uh, I can't remember what we're actually after on this one. I think, if I remember, we are after this angle down here. So we're after angle OPT. So we're just going to fill in all the missing angles anyway. Um, radius, can I not, not use having a radius on because that isn't a natural triangle. We do have a triangle and a side of semicircle. We do have a tangent down here, so we've got some 90s. We also have these parallel lines again, so there may be a Z shape or an F shape going on. 1940 is 130, so this one down here is 50. 90... Uh, Using a Z shape, I'm going to use a Z shape here. So there's a Z shape. So that means this one here is 50. And 90 plus 50 is 140. So that means the angle we are after is 40. I could have also got that by getting this one and saying that one was 40. And then using, there's an F shape here. F shapes aren't as popular as Z shapes. We could have then used that F shape if we'd got that 40 to then get that one. So in conclusion, angle OPT equals 40 degrees and I think that would throw some people that the answer came out to be the exact same as the only angle they started with okay we want QRS for this one so Q to R to S is there and then we're going to enlarge it same as normal we're going to look for a radius so radius 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 we have some tangent. I have a tangent down here, so there's a right angle there. I also have a triangle inside a semicircle, so I've got a right angle there too. Okay, using symmetry, I'm going to fill in my other 28 first of all. 28 and 28. 90 take away 28 makes this one 62, which makes this one 28 as well. I'm going to use a bit of symmetry and say that one's 62. 62 add 62 is 124. 180 take away 124 is 56. So the one at the top here is 56. Then I'm just going to use that actual triangle with the 56 and the 90. And that will give me the missing angle I'm after. So 90 add 56 is 144. 180 take 144 makes my missing angle 36. So angle QRP equals 36 degrees. I could have also again gone and got the other side of the, the 28, oh sorry, the other side of the 62 and said that that was 118 and used the 118 and the 28 to also get the 36 as well.